I couldn't believe my luck, or rather, my lack of it. Losing a bet to Amy was one thing, but the consequence was something I hadn't quite anticipated. As I stood in front of my closet, eyeing the vibrant one-piece swimsuit that lay there mockingly, I couldn't help but let out a defeated sigh. Alex, are you ready? Amy's voice echoed from outside my room. Yeah, just give me a minute, I called back, my voice tinged with reluctance. I reluctantly slipped into the one-piece swimsuit, its material clinging to my body like a second skin. The colorful patterns and the girly design seemed to emphasize my predicament, making me feel more self-conscious by the second. I glanced at myself in the mirror, a sigh escaping my lips once again. Time to face the music, I muttered, taking a deep breath before stepping out of my room. Amy was waiting by the door, a mischievous grin on her face as she took in my appearance. Oh, Alex, you look absolutely adorable. She teased. I rolled my eyes, a blush creeping onto my cheeks. Let's just get this over with. We made our way to the pool, and I couldn't help but feel a mixture of embarrassment and anxiety. I tried to avoid eye contact with anyone we passed by, my heart pounding in my chest. As we reached the poolside, I quickly found an empty spot to sit down, hoping to blend into the background as much as possible. As the day went on, I couldn't shake off the feeling of being exposed. Every time someone walked by or glanced in my direction, I felt a rush of panic. I kept tugging at the swimsuit, trying to adjust it and simultaneously make myself feel less conspicuous. Amy, on the other hand, seemed to be having the time of her life, thoroughly enjoying my discomfort. At one point, a group of girls sat down nearby, whispering and casting curious glances in my direction. I felt my face burn with embarrassment, my hands instinctively pulling at the edges of the swimsuit. I shot Amy a pleading look, silently begging her to intervene and divert their attention. She caught my gaze and grinned, leaning over to whisper in my ear, Don't worry, Alex. You're rocking that swimsuit. I scowled at her, but her words surprisingly helped ease some of my unease. Maybe I was overthinking things. Perhaps people weren't paying as much attention to me as I feared. As the day drew to a close, I realized that I had survived the ordeal. Sure, my pride had taken a hit, but I had faced my fear of being found out and had come out relatively unscathed. As I changed back into my regular clothes, I couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment. Walking back with Amy, I couldn't resist a playful nudge. You owe me big time for this, you know. She laughed, giving me a friendly shove in return. Deal with it, Alex. It was all in good fun. And as we walked away from the pool, I couldn't help but smile. Maybe I had lost the bet, but I had gained a newfound confidence in the process. Plus, I had a feeling that this was a story that Amy and I would be laughing about for years to come.